Good morning. Today we're working on adding fractions. Once you complete all these assignments, depending on how long all this goes, um, I will be sending out new documentation, new paperwork for you to work on. But for now, we're going to work on adding fractions because I know that with your classroom teacher, you are also working on adding fractions. So let's go ahead and look at this, work it out together. You should be doing this while I do it. All right, so we have two different denominators and we have to have similar denominators in order to add, just like we have to have similar denominators to subtract, we have to have similar denominators to add. So the easiest way to do this is we have five and two, we're gonna multiply these two by each other by two and whatever we do to the denominator we do to the numerator whatever we do to the denominator we do to the numerator so the first thing you need to do because we we should know this but let's let's create our multiples together so our multiples of two because that's our easiest is two four six eight ten our multiples are of five or five and 10, I've already found two that match. That's two times one, two, three, four, five, and that's five times one, two. And what do you know? That's what we were gonna do in the first place. But this way, whenever you're doing the math up here, you already have the information down here. So let's multiply three times two, or two times three, which is one, two, three, six, over 10, plus one times five, one times a number is the number, it's five, and two times five is 10. So now we're gonna add them. We got six plus five is 11, 11 tenths. That is an improper fraction. For now, you can either put 11 tenths or you can go a little bit further. Um, that's up to you. I'm not gonna count off, and I know that when you're doing your I ready, it's not gonna count off either. It'll take either answer. So this is improper because the number on the top, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And we know that our numerator should not be bigger than our denominator. So that makes this improper. Improper means not right. Okay, so we have 11 over 10. We know that 11 is bigger than 10 by one. I hope we know that. So this is equal to 10 tenths plus whatever's left, one tenth. And we know if the numerator and the denominator are equal, that's the same thing as one whole. So one. So one and one tenth. So you can say 11 tenths, or you can say one and one tenth. Both of those are correct. You've done this in class before. You've done this with me before. Um, if you need more help, let me know. Some of these might be a little bit more difficult. For instance, I can see denominator there more in 10. It might be a little bit harder for you to do. It's a lot more multiplying. Um, but if you need any help, let me know, okay? 